Well, we've been in the Alliance now for a little over a year. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like we've been in it for over a year. No. It kind of flew by. Yeah. Probably because we love it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So just over 12 months and mm -hmm. we've had uh, like 12 or 13 little things go wrong. That seems like a lot. It does seem like a lot, but... I didn't think it was that many. But they are little things. I guess maybe that's why, because they were just tiny things. Yeah, we haven't had to take it in... Where's wood? We haven't had to take <laughs> it in for any warranty work or anything <laughs> like that. Uh, I've been able to fix everything on my own with mm -hmm. the help and assistance of Alliance, which they've been awesome. Yes. With getting us any kind of parts or anything we need mm -hmm. to fix it out and advice on how to fix it or troubleshoot it or anything like that. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't really change anything. Um, no. We always mention these things, though, because we talked, we did a video about, you know, how RVs are not meant to be lived in full time. We talk about little things that go wrong with every mm -hmm. RV, but we never mention like, what things have gone wrong with our RV. True. So today we're going to take you around and we're going to show you all of the little things that have gone wrong because I know people are like, well, what little things are you talking about? I mean, you say little things, easy to fix, but that's kind of leaves it in. Fake. Yeah. I get it. Leaves it to the imagination as to what we consider yeah. little things and easy to fix. Yeah. So we'll show you what we're talking about mm -hmm. and uh, you can decide whether you think they're <laughs> simple little things or whether you think that you would probably take it in for a service. Well, the first thing that we had to deal with is leaks. I'm not talking about major leaks, very minor leaks, easy to fix, and it wasn't like busted lines or anything. Most of it was just uh, stuff that was loose and just wasn't tightened enough. Uh, some of the stuff we just put like some uh, plumber's tape on to help with that connection to make sure it didn't drip anymore. We're not having any more issues, but I'll show you what I'm talking about where we did have those issues. Well, the first leak that I noticed was about four days into owning the RV and I had some totes up here and I noticed a couple of drops on one of the totes and it was only a couple of drops though. So I started looking up and I noticed this fixture up here had a slight crack in it. I'm like, man, four days and only two drops. I mean, that's a pretty slow leak. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's a pipe that runs all the way across here that runs water through it. Now this fitting right here, you can tell they use some kind of a, an adhesive in there when they screwed this in to lock that into the threads. But I don't know if you can see through the caulking, right? There's a crack. So when they tightened this in, it seemed like they cinched it a little too tight. And when they did it split right there. Well, it was such a slow leak that I was able to dry it off Put the caulking in there and the caulking actually dried before it ever dripped again and it's been over a year and it hasn't dripped since so i'm happy with that the next issue we had was with fittings and they weren't broken or cracked or anything they just weren't tightened enough and what was happening was they were slow drips down into this pan down here luckily it's in this pan so it's not getting out into the wood or damaging anything it's in this pan well the reason i noticed it is because it was running underneath this little lip right here and i could see where the water was accumulating and so i opened this panel back here and noticed that some of these were a little bit damp so um just tighten those up cinch those up and we had an issue down here also, same thing, fitting right here to the water pump when we were on our on our fresh water tank, we were running the pump. Um, you can actually see before we had a, a water softener, that's where it leaked out. And it kind of had that, that salt stain right there uh, where you can see where that leaked out a little bit, but it wasn't enough to do any damage. We dried that up, cinched this up, and we haven't had an issue since. Now I can't say enough good stuff about this tool right here. This is like a little plastic wrench that fits around your plastic fittings for all your plumbing in your RV. There's a small side and a bigger side for the bigger fittings and it cinches down everything super super tight without cracking your stuff. If you're using metal tools you're probably going to crack it. So there's only a few dollars on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can see how to get one of these because you need one. One of my least favorite issues that we've had so far. None of my favorite but this slam latch on this on this side right here over here this latch over here uh it's not really the latch i'll show you it's the uh the catch when this gets pushed in to there it's supposed to slide over top of this and lock onto there or catch onto there so that the door doesn't come open well this was too low so when this was sliding across to there 
it would slide across, but it would just barely catch. So any kind of vibration bounce down the road, boom, this one would slide off and this side of the slam latch would come open. And then if it jostled enough, that other side would come loose. And this is not a side that has the magnets up there to hold it, it's on hydraulics. So when this guy opens up, when you're bouncing down the road, yeah, you're rolling down the road and now you got a wing hanging out here. And we were driving past big semi trucks and I didn't notice how long this was open. And oh, by the way, all of our craps in there and could be falling out luckily it didn't but uh that's pretty scary when you look in your mirror and you see this guy flapping in the wind and semi trucks are flying by you on a two-lane road and you're like getting over trying to stop to get this fixed uh so it's been an issue and we actually haven't gotten this one fixed yet but i'll show you what we've done to keep this from flying up in the meantime we did try to put some wedges in here. I've wedged some stuff in here. I've screwed some screws in here just to try to get this up, lifted up, because if you look under here, there's no way to get to this. This is all solid. You would have to take this whole skirting off. You would have to take this whole frame out just to get to the screws that hold this guy in. Uh, you take these out, it does nothing. You there's screws that go up underneath to get this thing out. So all you can do is wedge stuff in there to try to lift this up to get this up higher so that when that latch slides across it, it'll actually catch. But we weren't able to do that. Even with wedging stuff in there, it didn't raise it high enough to catch it. So what we have done is we took a childproof refrigerator lock and put one end on one side and attached another end down here. And on travel day, we latched that child lock on there so that even if this comes unlocked, that thing's not gonna, not gonna open on its own. So it's a little unsightly. It's a little uh, crazy looking, but at least we have peace of mind knowing that as we're traveling down the road, this door's not gonna fly open. So, you know, next time that it's convenient to, to take the RV in, or maybe when we go to the Alliance RV rally and they have some techs working there on site, maybe we'll have them look at this to try to fix this. But I wasn't comfortable with trying to to take this whole thing apart just to get to those screws to lift that that uh, catch up just by millimeters uh, so uh, the childproof latch is the is the fix for now well back to the bay <laughs> when we got our rv our gray tank and our black tank were mislabeled so we had uh, the gray tank was labeled here the black tank was labeled here even though they were not in the right spot and uh, so i had the gray valves open so the gray tank water could just run out as we use it because uh, we were in a spot that it wasn't an issue with the gnats and stuff so if we don't have an issue like that we like to keep our gray tanks open unless we're getting ready to do a black tank flush to build up enough gray water to, to flush that out at the end but uh, the, the way that I discovered it was when I went to do my first black tank flush I discovered that everything was backwards uh, so luckily it was only about a week that we were using it wrong so it wasn't enough time for a lot of solids to get you know stuck down in there by themselves without any solids and then we did a, gr a good black tank flush to make sure that the solids that were down there by themselves got washed out and i do a black tank flush every time we uh we empty the black tank so we haven't had any issues with that so just a mislabeling issue at the factory no big deal, easy fix. When you go to refill your propane and try to put these things back in, getting these latches latched is such a pain. And one time I was putting this back in, I was just struggling trying to get that that top latch latched and it just snapped right off in my hand. And then the, the little strappies that go, they, they're open and can't close the door if the, the, the strappy thing is way over here, the metal strap thing. So we did uh, contact Alliance. Uh, we have a part on the way. We actually have the part. It's, uh, our daughter has it and she's sending it to us. But um, in the meantime, had to rig this. And so what I did was, I didn't have any big zip ties. So I took a couple of small zip ties, uh, tied them on there. And it's just, it's basically just holding that. I can try to rock this and it doesn't, it doesn't move. I mean, it's in there, but this is just more to keep this metal strap out of the door than to keep the propane tank in. The bottom one's doing a fine job of, of holding it in. Even on travel days, we've traveled several times now with it like this and had no problems. Um, but until we get that part, it's gonna be zip ties. When we got our RV, you can see that Alliance does the bottom trims on all their windows. There's a bottom trim in there. Hey, Scout. Hi buddy, um, but you can see the window trims on the bottom on all these. 
Well, when we got the RV, there wasn't one on the bottom of this window. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't one on the bottom of this window over here. I didn't know if that was on purpose or not. So I, I had to go on the website and do like the 360 tour like you can do on the, the, on the computer. Tour. Yeah. And uh, I was like, they had them. Yeah. And we didn't have them. Sure and I was didn't. like, and I didn't even notice in the walkthrough that they were missing. No, paid no attention. Didn't None. even touch it. And it was probably two weeks into having the RV. I was like. It might have been a little longer than that. I feel like there should be trim here. <laughs> so we did the tour, the the online tour of our model. Yeah. And they were there. So uh, we contacted Alliance and said, hey, these are missing. And so they sent them to us. Yep. And we put them on ourselves. So we didn't mm -hmm. have to bring the RV in or anything. So yeah. easy fix for that. Absolutely. After a few moves in the RV, we noticed these lines. You can probably still see this line right here faintly. Um, but we contacted Alliance and we were like, yo, the slide is leaving uh, lines on our stuff. And it was leaving them on, on all the slides in the living room. And uh, they asked us what model we had and when it was manufactured, got our VIN number. And turns out there is a, a piece of plastic that, that kind of raises that slide up as it comes in which they started doing shortly after they made our model. So ours didn't have it. So uh, if you look up under here, um, there is a piece of black plastic right here. Uh, it's just two screws. You screw one screw in there, one screw in there. And then when that slide comes up, you can see where that roller hits that, that piece of plastic and lifts that slide up as it comes across. So it doesn't allow that, that roller to come across that, uh, or that skid to come across the floor right there anymore. So that line is still there from the first few times that we moved the RV. But uh, since we put that piece of plastic in there, it hasn't gotten any worse. And it really, you can see it actually better on camera than you can see it in person. In person, you barely can notice it, but on camera, you can actually see it. I don't know if that's because of the camera settings or, or what it is, but not that bad um the only other fix if we were really really bothered by it or if we caught it way way later we'd just have to have uh this whole floor resurfaced so that we wouldn't have those lines anymore but since they're not getting any worse it's not really a big deal to us we have our little th pieces of plastic that raise up so it's not going to get any worse so we're we're happy with it i'm going to talk about the shade oh, <laughs> is that your least favorite <sighs> yes the only thing that's got me irritated is the shade. <laughs> Just because we don't know what right looks right with these, uh, what are those MCD, MCD shades? shades, yeah. So, and with this big balance. Yeah, we have an issue with this one right here. It's not as easy as the Montana was to take, you know, they were clipped in so you could pull the whole shade out and you could fix it. Yeah. We don't know what it's truly supposed to look like, so when it fell, and the pieces came out. We YouTubed how to put it back in, but we really don't know what right looks like. Well, the problem is in the Montana, the, we love the big windows in the Alliance, but because they're so big, there's not a big gap between them where the Montana had a big gap between them. So they were separate valances. And so you could take one valance off and you could just work on one shade. Whereas these, you can see even in the corner there, you can see how tight that is to get that, that boxy valance off. This one goes all the way across and almost touches the one over there. And there's, there's separate shade in this window as there is in this one, but up inside of there, they butt up like right back to back to each other. So to, to fix it, you'd have to remove this whole big long valance. You'd have to remove both shades because you'd have to remove this shade to have enough room to work on this shade. And this side of the shade is the one that has the issue. So the crazy part is on moving day, we want all of our shades up on moving day. So it takes two of us to put this shade up. And so I'm holding all the mechanisms in as she's lifting it up and I'm, you know, helping it roll in there. And then once we get it up, this is crazy, but every moving day, and it's part of our checklist now, yes. we have to put a piece of packing tape. I put a piece of tape right here across here and I roll it up into there. And so that when we're traveling down the road, it won't bounce and fall out because before we were doing the packing tape thing, um, we were coming into the RV after we got to where we were going, the shades yeah. down, smacked into the table. All up. Yeah. All the <laughs> parts terrible. are shot. God knows where. I would have to put a headlamp on and crawl behind the couch yeah. on my side. And it's not easy because 
Alliance bolts down their, their furniture. furniture, so you can't just move can't this. Move the cow. <laughs> so if there's a part like way back in the corner, and you're like, oh, they try to get to the thing. <laughs> but uh, so we just decided, hey, look, this is probably one of the things we'll have them look at too when we go when we're at the rally. At the rally, because yeah. I think they let you like have two or three things on your list of things to work with. So I just talked about the latch. We'll have the latch looked at for yeah. sure, and then this thing because yeah. I mean I could probably fix this. I don't want to risk it. I could actually end up doing more damage than good. Yeah, because if you break the valance cover, you know, I'll kill you. And if if you make it to where the shade won't even you retract heard anymore, you heard that. I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, so a lot can go wrong. I don't want to kill you. Well, I don't want to be killed. So we're just going to tape it on travel day and let a lion see it. When Slight we inconvenience. I mean, it does sound crazy. They would put packing tape and a child lock on our stuff to keep stuff from opening and falling down and it sounds crazy <laughs> well now that you say it it does sound great let's take a trip into the bathroom we had a couple of issues in here um i'll talk about the first one it is right down here on day one mm -hmm. leslie was the first one to take a shower and as soon as she started taking a shower you can see a little stream of water coming down here and started puddling up right here and she freaked out and said, hey, we're leaking already. And um, anyway, um, I looked in here. It wasn't caulked very well, so I just removed all that caulking. I re-caulked it myself, uh, let it dry for 24 hours. We've been taking showers for over a year now since then uh, without any issues at all. Other issue in the bathroom was this guy. We had a slow leak. It wasn't really a leak. Again, it was a fitting issue. This fitting right here was dripping down here. I noticed it because I noticed some water pooling up over here, uh, but no big deal. I took my little tool, I tightened that up. Haven't had an issue since. We have, however, had an issue with this uh, pressurized mechanism. Uh, there was a bunch of sediment that had built up in there from the hard water. Uh, we cleaned that out. It's all good to go. Uh, we got our pressure back in our uh, toilet, and so no issues since then. So just those few things, mm -hmm. not terrible. Yeah. So you be the judge yeah. on how minuscule you think those issues are. I don't think they're a big deal. No. Uh, there's a couple of them that I'd really like to get fixed. Yeah, like yeah, like the lash. I really that's one of with my OCD. I want things instant like that because yeah. to me that is the biggest deal of them all. It is unsightly to have the little childproof Child. latch on there. Yeah. And I would just like it to shut properly because I don't want a 18 wheeler to take it away as we're driving down the road. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. Well, I'm very happy with Alliance. Yes. Cannot They've been complain. Johnny on the spot. Mm -hmm. um, never blown us off. Always gotten back to us really, really quickly. Yep. Always willing to help. Send us parts. Send us a tech yeah, if need be. Yeah, anything that's been sent, it's been sent immediately. We've had it within days. Mm. Yeah. Well, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, look down in the description. It tells you everything you need to know. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Uh.